Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed of a from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. To do for Jesus, it will be said that someone got born again because someone said yes to Jesus. And for all of you who have been telling Jesus no forever, I'm giving you a caution. No, both in terms of salvation and to be used by him. The no I'm talking about is twofold. There are people who will never repent no matter what you preach. I pray that tonight will be that night that the Holy Ghost will break that stony heart finally. Are we together? It is a foolish thing to say no to Jesus. This is an advice, it's not an insult. It is a very foolish approach in life to say no to the King of Kings, to the creator of the ends of the earth. No, the Bible says in the beginning God, not in the beginning you. You came as a product of time. It is arrogance to believe that I've come, I've, I'm educated now. I, I, I went to school or I was born and bred abroad. I do not need Jesus. Scripture says only a fool will say in his heart, there is no God. Please listen to me. I'm, I'm speaking by the Spirit. I believe that there is someone listening. There's someone watching. That God does not even want to wait till the end of the service. He's using this opportunity to speak to you now. You need to make it right with Jesus. You have to make it right with Jesus. This is not just about dying and going to heaven. This is about living a life of meaning. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his then only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have life eternal 17 says for god did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved it says there is no other name under heaven that is given unto men by which we must be saved Joshua Selman's name cannot save you. We are only ushers that lead you to the cross. Are we together? Everybody in hell today is a believer. The only thing is that they believe too late. Someday, anyone who has rejected Jesus and continues to reject Jesus will have an opportunity to believe. Unfortunately, there is timing to salvation. The gates of salvation will not be opened indefinitely and forever. A glorious morning will come when it might become too late. It is for this reason that Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit. And he said, when he, the spirit of truth is come, he says he will convict you. He will reprove the world of three things, of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment, he says. So for someone, you came to church, you just came as a well-wisher, let me come and see what is happening in koinonia or maybe you went to a family where they are connecting or you passed and saw a projector somewhere and people are just watching the lord allowed that so that you will hear this this may be your message tonight that he's calling you genuinely to make it right with jesus he says he that denies me before men i will deny before my father and his holy angels a day will come you will wake up in the morning and it will not be your office you're on your way going to again a day will get you wake up and it will not be koinonia you are coming to again when this life is folded like a curtain the only thing that matters is your stand with god i think i should finish this evangelical message and do an altar call right now i'm almost there praise the name of the lord now listen very carefully Aside from the fact that Jesus is coming soon, which is true, I want to assure you that Satan and the cohorts of this world have legitimate dominion and authority over your life, except and unless you have been translated from the kingdom of darkness, according to scripture, are we together, into the kingdom of light, 
even the kingdom of his dear son what then is salvation is more than just chanting and confessing the lordship of jesus salvation starts by an acknowledgement of the fact that you are incapacitated that you do not have the power to help yourself by yourself the bible clearly tells us that if we say we do not have any sin we deceive ourselves and that the truth is not in us but that if we confess our sins that god is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness this is what the bible says the conclusion over all men is that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God this is what the Bible says and the Bible says that the wages of sin is death it says but the gift of God is eternal life even in Christ Jesus hallelujah the assignment of a believer or the assignment of one who is in need of salvation is to believe the gospel what is the gospel that the father loved you so much he gave Jesus as a mediator to be able to come and die for your sins the penalty the condition for having the life of god and being saved from eternal damnation is that you must have righteousness equal to that of jesus and by the works of the law and the works of the flesh no man is able to attain unto that status of righteousness so jesus came and through the exchange of his death burial and resurrection he's granted us access to his righteousness the bible says christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us for it is written cursed is every man that hangeth on a tree that the blessings of abraham might come upon the gentiles to the end that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith this is the bible what is your responsibility now is found in Romans chapter 10 from verse 9 what saith you that the word is near your in your heart and in your mouth that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead he says thou shalt be saved the law is in verse 10 it says for with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation let me give you an opportunity right now let's do the altar call before we preach you know those days when people got born again because of the fire that came from the salmon you would see people broken to their spirits but right now you make a lot of altar call and you see others interrupting others on stage from even getting born again they come on stage and all they are doing is carrying their phone they want to snap the cloth the man of god is wearing that's why we men of god must go back and receive genuine apostolic fire something is wrong with these games we keep playing i'm saying it again and i'm saying it respectfully speaking when people were born again you could trust what happened to them the power the impact of what happened so you would see 180 degrees transformation immediately for many but God is helping us so I'm going to make an altar call you can sit down and assume you did not hear what I said but the Holy Ghost has been speaking to you some of you are in this auditorium right now some of you are in all the overflows down to the basement outside and numerous people following online as I began to speak to you the Holy Ghost told you this is it he's shown you through dreams he's shown you through visions do not wait until it is too late Jesus is calling you you have met the man of God now it's time for you to meet the Savior and the God of that man hallelujah praise the name of the Lord I don't know why God decided to take this dimension. We just started talking about UK. And now it is leading to someone's salvation. That is the way of the spirit. John chapter 3 and verse 8. Jesus was speaking to Nicodemus. And he said the wind blow it where it listeth. You cannot tell where the sound, sound thereof. You cannot tell whence it cometh or where it's going. So is one that is born of the spirit. Hallelujah. I'm going to make an altar call and count one to five wherever you are don't wait for anybody to be the first you came to church you may be old you may be young you may be educated uneducated 
rich, poor, with all the love in my heart and every sense of seriousness, as far as your eternal destiny is concerned, I want to make this call. Let your eyes look straight on Jesus and I want you to run and come and stand here as I count one to five. Don't sit back when you know your ways are not right with Jesus. One. Come, come to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Don't let anybody be a, make you feel bad. Come with confidence in your heart. He's able to give you a new beginning. Come. Come. I'm withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. I'm withholding nothing. Let's celebrate them as they come. Will you give yourself away? That's what the Holy Spirit is asking you tonight. Will you give yourself away so he can use you? listen please look at me ladies and gentlemen the days of acting drama of salvation is fading away from the church we are trusting God for genuine authentic salvations that when people come and stand before Jesus Christ they are standing before the savior of their soul sincerely that the prayer you are going to be praying would not just be the recitation from a man oh say lord jesus lord jesus i believe i believe amen <clears throat> genuine and sincere salvation Look at my beautiful daughter. Look at this little girl. Can you imagine coming to stand for Jesus? Whether she knows what she's doing or not, that is the safest place for her to be. Hallelujah. I salute every one of you, my brothers and sisters, for making this noble call. You see, this is your family. When you come to make this, to honor this clarion call, don't see it as though you're on your way to a funeral. No. You are about to receive the greatest gift that can be given to any man under heaven. Not a thing, a person. Jesus himself. Hallelujah. If I pray for you for healing, I prophesy upon your life or I pray for prosperity, I only gave you things. But when you have him, mm. and I I'm desperate for you. Just sing it one time and I'll pray for them. And I, I'm lost without you. The Bible declares that as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Some of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Everybody who is genuinely saved had this moment in their lives. My call for you is that while you make these declarations, mean it from your heart. No matter what has happened in your life or not happened, when you come to Jesus, the Son of the living God, He is able to give you a new beginning. And for someone who is following online, let this be your chance. Don't say next week. Don't say miracle service. Now is the day of salvation, the Bible says. There's no guarantee for tomorrow, but now is a gift that was given by God to remedy for yesterday. Lift your right hand if you can, all of you, all who are in the overflow, down to the basement, outside, following online. Please lift your hand. Thank you for making this decision for Jesus. I see those of you outside and all other overflows. God bless you. Lift your hands. Say this after me and let it be from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus. 
I believe in you that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I declare that you are my savior, you are my Lord, and you are my king. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I declare that I'm a child of God. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for my precious, loving brothers and sisters who have come out responding to this call and the many others who are scattered across the globe who are following. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you and I administer, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. Satan, take your hands off their lives from today. You have no power and legal ground over them. In the name of Jesus, I call you the righteousness of God in Christ. And in the name of Jesus, you are also recipients of the abundance of grace, even the gift of righteousness, and you reign in life. I declare that you go forward ever and backward never. In the name of Jesus. There are two of you here. I just saw spirits appear. And the Lord is saying I should get them out of you. You heard their confessions of faith. And I command out of them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is the power of the gospel. Hallelujah. So I congratulate all of you. In the name of Jesus. The son of the living God. For those under the anointing that's all right when they are fine we can pick them ushers well done god bless you let me request that you please look to your left which will be my right there will be a group of people there and by the way zaria is connecting our zaria family is connected i i want to believe that there are people who have also made that decision right now and so counselors please manage them all of you may i request that you please move to my right which will be your left you will have a minute or two with the counselors and i promise you you'll be back to your seat those under the anointing just hold them gently let's handle them carefully let's give jesus a big hand clap for salvation <laughs> hallelujah praise the name of the lord has this inspired someone we thank the Lord. The price for every soul is the blood of Jesus. Every soul. Every one of these precious people is equal the blood of Jesus. And we thank the Lord. And for all of you who invited them to church, may God honor you. The Bible says in Daniel chapter 12 and verse 3, it says that they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever scripture says that he that winneth souls is wise not just he that makes wise decisions he that winneth souls is wise may god help us in the name of jesus i've taken from my time so it's my intention again to see how we make progress i was impressed with the help of god over us last week and let's see how we obtain that help today again in jesus name it's not a promise, it's a commitment. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.